What I have is IgA nephropathy, which is an autoimmune disorder, and it basically chews up your kidneys. So I had a really proactive nephrologist who, from the beginning, said eventually you're going to need a kidney transplant. Many people wait five, six, seven, sometimes eight years from the time that they've started dialysis or from the time they go on the waiting list until they're at the top of the list and then match for a kidney that can be transplanted with. The nice thing about having a living donor is that there's no line, there's no wait. You have your donor and then you schedule it. It's an elective surgery at that point. You know, a living donor doesn't just happen. You have to have someone who's willing to do it, and I think it takes time. I had three friends that were tested. We were actually lucky. We had a lot of friends, unusually, that were A-positive uh, blood type, and um, and then they were none of those were matches. Um, and in, in the meantime, Daniel came and said he wanted to be a donor, which was awesome for me because I knew there was a better chance of him being definitely a match, but ultimately a perfect match. I'm an out gay man, and I had been taking um, a drug called that's called Truvada, which is essentially a once daily pill that is a pre-exposure prophylaxis. Daniel was denied candidacy from donation at the other center because he fell in what's called a PHS increased risk group of individuals. When someone falls into that category, you can allow them to donate, but the recipient has to be informed of what the increased risks are and what the plan of care would be for, for testing afterwards. You need to do what's right for you and what you think makes the most sense for you, and ultimately that's why we ended up at NYU. We discussed with Melissa the risks of staying on dialysis versus the very small risk of Getting, catching a virus from, from her brother. Um, and both Melissa and us agreed that that risk was small enough that it was very much the acceptable range to, to be transplanted. I'm ready to be off dialysis, definitely, and I don't know how I'll ever thank him. It's a pretty amazing gift. Our donors come in from home the morning of surgery because it's scheduled for a living donation. The surgery lasts several hours. We do the surgery through four small incisions. Most people spend two days in the hospital, sometimes three, and most people have a full return to activity and work within three to four weeks. I felt really good. Like, I didn't, I didn't really have much pain at all, and, and um, I really didn't take that much pain medication either. You know, I had some trepidation about a big city hospital and what would that feel like and what, what would that be like? Would you be just a number? And I think it was 150% the opposite. I, I just think the care that I got was incredible. If you are going through the process of deciding to be a living donor or not, um, do all of the research. Do as much as you possibly can to make that decision. And if it's right for you, you could potentially change somebody's life.